I had an idea recently. I thought, what Witcher videos could I make? And I decided to make this video. I thought I'd do a little series where I go over each school in the Witcher. Well, each Witcher school. And I thought I'd start with, as you can see by the title, the School of the Cat, and end with the School of the Griffin. Because, as people who've played the games will know, the Witcher George, who I've named my channel after, was actually part of the School of the Griffin. And yeah, my name's George there. I just thought it would be quite a cool sort of reference to the games and also just because I like the Witcher. <laughs> so, I'm going to Let's start off with the School of the Cat, and this is just for people who are interested in, you know, the Witcher lore and they want to find out about more of the certain schools in it. I'm going to go through there, you know, go over School of the Viper, School of the Manticore, School of the Bear, you know, there's, there's loads of schools, you know, you'll, you'll see. So I first wanted to go over the origins of the School of the Cat, because it has quite a cool origin compared to some of the other schools. So there was some speculation that the Witcher School of the Cats was actually founded by an elf. Well, founded by an elven culture group known as the Enshe. But, that's actually not the case. It was originally founded, they think at least, by abortively mutated witches who were banished from Kaer Morhen. And what that basically means is that witches that didn't mutate in the correct ways, so, you know, weren't up to sort of the School of the Wolf standards and they were banished, those witches were like, right, okay, let's just make our own school then. With, with Hooker and... <laughs> no, joking. But, uh, no, it, um, they made the School of the Cat and that's where they came about from. So that's basically the origins. But what was this school focused on? Well, this school's fighting styles were developed were focused on speed, precision, and agility. So, because of this point, as you can tell from the games, their weapons don't, uh, you know, they aren't heavy hitters, they don't do a lot of damage, but they can get more hits in than a heavy weapon, which ultimately amounts to the same, if not more, damage. And no, life isn't like a video game, but in real life, if you have a light weapon instead of a heavy weapon, you're gonna get more hits in, therefore you may do more damage. Because, you know, you might chop off someone's leg <laughs> with a heavy battle axe, but you might stab someone's artery with a small sword. So because of this, their actual gear was designed with a lot of flexibility. So, if you look at the School of the Bear armor, it, it literally has an almost, I suppose you could say, a kind of dress part to it, which, if you're moving around, is not going to be that easy, but it will give you more protection to your legs. Whereas the School of the Cat is like an all-in-one sort of clothing, a little bit similar to the School of the Wolf gear, but uh, even more thin, which means that it's not going to take hits as well, but it means you can move around much more fast, which then increases how much stuff damage you can do with your weapons. So, the reason I gave you that bit of information is so you could learn about the next part, which is how they sort of went from being a school of the Witcher to being, let's just say, assassins. Because because of their sort of, you know, they were kicked out of Kaer Morhen and they needed their own thing to do, they hunted humans as well as monsters. And because they're so quick, killing humans is great for them, you know? You might think someone like Geralt's quick in the Witcher games, but the School of the Cat members are much quicker, just because of their armor and training. Doesn't mean they're better fighters, it just means that they can get the job done more quickly, you know, with humans, because, you know, Geralt might be able to fight, you know, massive monsters, but the School of the Cat could kill a human quicker than Geralt, say. So that's how they became assassins because they were just good for it. So the reason that they only hunt monsters, which is in general, is because of the fact that these mutations aren't exactly stable half the time, a lot of witches can become quite psychotic, and if they try and enforce a rule that they can't kill humans, maybe some of these witches aren't just gonna go on psychotic rages and kill humans, instead they'll go on psychotic rages and kill monsters. And a little piece of story for you, Geralt in the books actually encountered a School of the Cat witcher called Brehen, and Bonhart slew another School of the Cat, and that medallion was actually taken by Ciri, and she wears it now in the Witcher games. Well, at least she wore it a lot in the books. I'm pretty sure she still has it in the Witcher 3 and it gets taken by one of the crones, but you know, you can still see that, that she has the medallion. So I just want to say, um, this next part of information might not be considered canon, and it might just be something from the games, or it might have just been an off comment from the author, but Apparently, the Witcher School of the Cats was the only school to accept women. And we know that Geralt took Ciri in to train her as a Witcher from the School of the Wolf, but he never actually planned to make her undergo those mutations. He just wanted her to learn how to fight with a sword. And at that point, witches weren't being made anymore anyway, really. So it was just kind of like, you know, at least the School of the Wolf was dying, you know, it wasn't really around anymore. So they would have relaxed the rules a bit. But when the witches were at their strongest, you know, the School of the Cat was the only one that apparently accepted women. So that's basically what the Witch the School of the Cat, well, the School of the Cat was in The Witcher. But I also wanted to mention just some references that are in the games. So if you watch my video on Dandelion, I actually did a quest where you meet a Witcher from The School of the Cat. And that's what almost inspired me to make this video, to be honest, because I just thought, hey, wonder more about them. You know, I already knew they were a school, but I never learned that much about them. So in that quest, you meet a Witcher called 
get get gan get tan i can't know how to say gay tan and you can decide to either as the player you know kill him or let him live and i let him live just because i thought you know what which is a dying breed Geralt did it before and blaviken kind of so i'm gonna let this one slide which you might think's bad but i feel like it wasn't really his fault he kind of got screwed out of the money he wasn't any Got, you know, got killed and stuff, so it's, it's fine. I think it gives you some cool stuff. So as you can tell from this school, not much is really known. The most the most we know about of a Witcher school is the School of the Wolf, so that'll probably be a much longer video. But I wanted to say that the School of the Cat was one of the reasons why witches became even more of an outcast, because they were just these murderous assassins, as a lot of people call them in the games. And a lot of the other Witcher schools don't really like them. They, they don't respect them because they just think they're hired killers, basically, and they're using the Witcher name and they're making it worse. And if you look at the School of the Cat medallion, it's quite similar to the School of the Wolf medallion, but obviously it's a cat, but it's like, it uses the same sort of shapes. It's, it's you know, it's clear that they were um, using the School of the Wolf as almost a model, but they were a little bit more distorted. So there's a conversation between Lambert and Geralt in The Witcher 3 where, well, I'll begin the conversation. There was all that hate for the School of the Cat. They worked hard to deserve that hate basically turned hired assassins. So, you know, that, that shows that they be did become assassins and they're, they're not really mentioned too much in The Witcher because when the games and the books take place, it's already past The Witcher's prime in a way. Like, they went from being the almost protectors, kind of. I mean, people never really trusted them, but when monsters were full of the world, because as we know, because of the conjunction of spheres, monsters got plopped onto the world and the witches had to... And the witches were basically there and were created to deal with it and make humans be able to have good enough settlements. But they needed a source of money, which is where they became mercenaries, etc, etc. So yeah, that's about as much as we know about the school of the cat. There's a bit of trivia here and there. So I'll end the video with this little bit of a triva, trivia. And there was apparently a witcher, a part of the school of the cat, called Schrodinger, which is a reference to Schrodinger's cat, um, who made the experiment that, you know, if, if a cat's in a box, and you don't know if it's dead or alive, is it truly dead? You know, and it's just little references here and there. And as we know in the games, you can actually scavenger the Skull of the Cat armor, which is quite cool, and you can get a um, Mastercrafted set. It, it's it's good armor. You you It ends up looking, well, by the end, like a proper assassin armor, and you have a hood and everything. It's, it's quite cool if you want to go for that sort of playthrough. But yeah, anyway, that's my video on the Skull of the Cat. There isn't much information on them, but if there are other ends up being more, maybe they'll release a book about trivia behind it. I'll, I'll be sure to do an updated version of this, so be sure to subscribe for stuff like that. My next video, um, on, you know, in this series of the schools, is either going to be on the School of the Manticore or the School of the Viper, because I want to end with the School of the Griffin, because that's, you know, the Witcher George's school, and maybe have the School of the Wolf just before that, because that's going to be a cool episode too, because that's very long. <laughs> So yeah, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And I hope you had an awesome time, guys. Have a cool week.